Hi there, welcome along to our build guide for the floating otter feeder, although I'm sure you can find some other species this, that this could be used with. So the majority of this build is made from a product called HDPE. Um, so it's a type of plastic, it's high density, and it floats very, very well in water. So it means you can make these very sort of large solids um, devices, and you know that they're gonna stay on the top of the water, hopefully. So with the otter feeder itself, we started off with a sheet of 500 by 500 mil of HDPE just here and the depth of the HDPE that we use is normally between sort of like 10 to 12 mil. Um, we do find that the 12 mil HDPE is then easier to do screwing into um, when it comes to making the boxes which we'll move on to in just a second but obviously it's completely up to you. So. All of these bits which I'm about to show you are all HDPE as well. Um, I've just changed the colour to make it look a little bit easier for you, but normally this product comes in black. Okay, So we want to make ourselves three boxes, and these are actually what are going to be the basically store the majority of the food in them, and they have two compartments in them. So I start off with a piece of uh, 200 by 100, and so you've got your front and your back just there. Obviously, both of these pieces are exactly the same size. And then filling it out in between, a piece of 76 by 200. So this means that the box in total, all the way across, you can see here, is 100. So it's basically a square, completely square box. So on the inside, this is where we're going to put an extra piece. So you've got your top which is technically going to be your bottom, that'll make sense later on, and your middle piece, both of these are 76 by 76. When it comes to screwing all of these together, obviously because it's going in water, you want to use a specific type of screw to make sure that it's not going to corrode at all, so we use A2 stainless steel screws. And when you're going into HDPE, always, always make pilot holes. Okay, so this stuff does burn quite easily um, when you're trying to put a screw in and it does sort of thread quite easily as well. So make sure you put a pilot hole through, then get the, uh, the screw into it. And I definitely recommend using clamps to make sure that everything stays nice and tight together. It can be a bit tricky to work with until you get the hang of it. So once you've got those middle pieces done, then you've got your uh, side section on here and you can see there's a hole in it and this is where the feed will be put into so the hole is completely up to you normally we make holes you know, um, this one here is 22 mil uh, across so it's the same size as a, a spade bit which you can put in your drill but obviously it's up to you the larger you go the easier it's going to be for them to get the food out and these guys particularly obviously if you're doing it for otters they are smart, they will figure it out, and so I do definitely recommend going smaller to make the food last a lot longer. So that will be the first box finish, and you can see on the underside here uh, where the other bit of food will go. And once this is get, gets put onto the main sheet of HDPE, once again that will make sense how to get the food from that. So you actually need three of these boxes, and these will be attached onto your initial sheet of 500 by 500. Once again, with your A2 screws going through the sheet into the sides of the box. Okay, so it'll basically go up through into this. And that's why we definitely recommend using the 12 mil HDPE because it just makes it a lot easier to get those screws into those sideboards there. So once all of your boxes are on, then we're going to need to add in some extra flotation devices. Now, we know the HDP does float, but we like to be just a little bit careful here and make sure that it's 100% not going to sink. So these clips, which you can see in place here, these are just regular um, pipe clips, um, which you can get from most builders, merchants. Um, and then you just put the pipe through it. So you can get different sizes of those clips and obviously different size pipes. And so with the pipes, make sure you get ones where you can put these rubber stoppers on the end. And that means that this tube is now completely sealed with air inside it. So obviously creating that flotation device. We're going to stick with these clips just here. So when it comes to obviously attaching these onto the uh, HDPE, once again, you're going to want some A2 screws, but you're only going to want very shallow ones. So we normally go for like 16 mil screws just to, to attach them on. And they always go on quite solid as long as you're using those pilot holes again. So these ones, we're going to put pipes in, but without any pieces 
in the ends none of those rubber stoppers so this is another way to actually put food into this you can actually wedge food into the ends of these pipes just here and then litter your board with lots and lots and lots of other clips so it's up to you you can buy different size clips so these can then obviously be used for attaching different size bits of food inside them um, and this means that you've got lots of different ways of actually putting food into this so either through the holes in the clips you know through the pipes really make them work so once you've got this built it obviously goes into the otter pool the other way up so this is the way that it actually sits on the surface right here so you'll have a flat bit on the surface and you can see the holes just in the top and these go into that extra um, compartment on these boxes and these ones just make it even trickier for the otters to get the food out so we absolutely love this device yeah we've made it a couple of times now the one which I'm showing you here is the updated version um, because the the double box version here really does make them work hard for their food and the last time we actually tested this the otters were working at this for over 40 minutes which is absolutely incredible um, so yeah let us know how you got on please feel free to send us through sort of photos and videos of your finished devices and how your animals are getting on with them and uh, we look forward to hearing from you cheers guys